Hey y'all, country man back again, and um, well, the video uh, did not want to ever make, but I don't know if I said it before on film, but this ignition switch. Now, I don't know if y'all can see that, but that hole is bored out. This is a John Deere LA-115. That is the original switch. It has had a motor swap because the old motors wore out, so I put me a new 19 horse in it, but that's besides the point. So, don't know why there's a grease on the seat, like that on. Um, so when you go to start it, now I got on it, I was going to drive it a little, got on it here, turn the switch over, watch, turn it over, and it just rolls into place. It sticks up. But you hear that click? That, that's just the headlights coming on. That ain't the solenoid or nothing. So, yeah, I just did that. And I had the brake on, so I can even try it with the brake on and let the clutch out. Still nothing, so. And I know my battery's good because I, c I know it has power in it. So, as y'all can tell, my little odometer thing, it's still working. So, I know the sun kind of glares on everything, but yeah. So to remove that little switch there, i uh, got to go to me tractor out there and probably get a new switch. So, just that little black part. Now, up here in your dashboard, kind of gunky, but let's see. That is the underside of your ignition switch. Now, I mean, hold on. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so what you're gonna, yeah, I see it now. I watch YouTube myself to know how to do this, but well, um, that's why I know so much about lot more, because of YouTube. But, um, Set it where y'all can see what I'm doing. So we're going to pop, take a pocket knife. Come on. And you're going to want to pop that off and kind of pry down on that. See how that's off? And then you can just like, unplug it like a vacuum cleaner. There I want my pocket knife. So. That's on top of my clutch pedal. Um, there we go. I got it back. So. Yeah, I think there's another one on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. Or is it? Huh? Yes, yeah, so you're going to want to... Uh, you don't really need to pry it, but this one's like 15 years old, so... It's had its fair share, so I think... Yeah, that should have popped off, is it? Yeah, there is another one on the other side. I thought there was. Uh -huh. So there's another one on that other side, just like that one I just showed y'all how to pop loose. And, uh, let's see. I can't see it very good, but you're just gonna... Let's see, I think it's off. It should be popped loose now. So... Is it? No, I don't think it's that, ain't it? No, that's holding the actual switch in. Hold on. Put the pocket knife over in the storage unit thing. So, see, you're going. That's not it. So, I don't understand why that's not popping out on the other side. That should be popping out. Y'all can't see nothing but my hand, but. Yeah, on the other side, I'm trying to get that little clip to pop down. Oh, this cramped little space here. Okay, we got it loosened. So. Dang, that sucker's on. Okay, I need a knife so I can. I know the tablet kind of got messed up a little bit. Oh well camera did so 
I can get my tablet set up there. Um, what you're going to want to do is now you're going to want to get like that. If you do have an older rig and you've never had that off. And I don't know who don't ever have a knife handy. Uh, I do. I carry this little Uncle Henry knife. So yeah. Oh, we're falling. Okay, if y'all want. Okay, that's starting. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So that's. Those are kind of dirty. I'll clean them. Um. So yeah, there's your ignition thing. That's unplugged. So for whatever reason, I would take this little thingy, as y'all can see. It's not really dirty except them two little prongs in there. So I'm just going to set it over toward the steering column. Then this little thingy, that's your switch itself. I think, let me see, I can get my eyeballs in here on the yeah, well, oh well, um, yeah, so that's how you unplug it, then you just pull them two prongs out, my papa's pulling in to help me work on it, so I'm going to end it here, this helps y'all, so, yeah, bye, country men's like